Welcome back to another episode of Wellbeing on Water with May. Because of the high water levels, I've been in one place for six weeks, feeling stuck and stagnant, which has really started to take its toll on my mental state. In this episode, I chat about asking for help and then do exactly that when I invite my beautiful friend Katie to help me move the boat after weeks and weeks. We go backwards, then forwards, we battle low bridges, and I share boaty tips. So come along for the journey, dear friends, life jackets optional. If you enjoy this episode, please subscribe for more. I can't believe it's been three years that I have been a narrowboater. This is actually my fourth day where I have kind of isolated myself and not been doing much at all. It's so lovely to come home and be home, but there's been this real heavy energy this time. I've been working from home the whole time and often find it difficult to actually get out sometimes when I'm feeling this heaviness and socialize and go out and have walks and things like that. Yeah, I really struggle with that. Well, I know it's good for me. But yeah, majorly hermiting these past few days. For those that are fairly new to the channel, you may not know my full story, but originally when I moved onto the boat, I had the vision of bringing up a family on the boat, getting married, and yes, yeah, starting a boaty life with someone. And a year and a half into owning the boat together, um, I had a insane experience that is borderline spiritual and kind of like unexplainable and I realized that in that experience I realized that the relationship wasn't wasn't what I wanted and it was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life to split with a split from a nine-year relationship but also sort of destroy these incredible plans for the future and of course the heart of my ex-partner and it was yeah like just thinking about it now is bringing up quite a bit of emotion in me it was hard it was a real hard time to go from being with someone to being on my own yeah And yeah, having just spent four days on my own around this milestone anniversary, maybe is <laughs> potentially why I'm feeling why I'm feeling. I didn't know at the time when I was going through what I was going through that there were things that could help me in terms of support for my mental health, for giving me coping strategies, for giving me tools and techniques, even though I know all of this because I'm a mental health practitioner. Even though I can teach it and I can verbalise it and I can educate people on it, doing it yourself is like a whole other ball game. And that's why you need support when it comes to your mental health, when it comes to getting you through tough times. Think back to a time where community was life. You always had someone there to support you, to heal you. You had medicine women and men who would use plants from the jungle and heal your body or your mind or spirit. It was all done with support. 
So what do you do when you're anxious and stressed and overwhelmed and your mind is just going a million one miles an hour and you just can't stop thinking about worst case scenarios and catastrophes and all this horrible feeling of emotion that you don't like and you don't know how to deal with it comes up to the surface? The answer is talk to somebody. And that person, if it's not friends and family, can be somebody that's professional, somebody that's going to support you through this, that is non-bias. And I would recommend using BetterHelp. That's right, BetterHelp. It does exactly what it says on the tin. It's a platform that aims to support you to find help that you need. So whether you suffer with low mood, anxiety, stress, they will connect you with the perfect therapist that is going to meet your needs that you connect with that you feel like you can trust you can literally be sitting on your sofa at home having therapy imagine going into a french restaurant and not being able to order the thing that you really want to eat and you're really really struggling and you're feeling frustrated because you can't communicate ah, and you don't get what you want and you get and you go hungry <laughs> well that's what it's like before therapy before therapy you are unable to communicate and understand what's going on for you in your head and mind and body. And as soon as you get that language, everything just clicks into place. But to get that language, you need to understand it from a professional. They need to be able to tell you the language. They need to be able to teach you the language that you need to be able to speak to yourself to understand yourself better. It's an absolute game changer. If you're thinking, yes, this is really speaking to me, I want to regain control over my life, and I think maybe talking to someone might help, I wanna give it a go, then you can get 10% off your first month by visiting betterhelp.com forward slash wellbeing on water. And from somebody that works in the mental health world that has experienced therapy for their first hand, it is honestly something that I feel everybody should have the opportunity of experiencing at least once in their life. It can really make a difference. Right, so mission of the day, reverse back to get water because the next water point is miles away and I need water now. My boat is a nightmare to reverse and of course, challenges are better with help. So I have asked my lovely, lovely friend, Katie, to come help me. She is here. Hi. Katie, <laughs> welcome to the boat. <laughs> So good to see, so you. Good to see you too. Thank you for coming to help me. Mm -hmm. I really Thank appreciate you for it. Me. I'm so excited. Are you ready then? Because we've mm -hmm. got quite a mission ahead of us today. Okay. We're going to go backwards. How are we going to go backwards then? Okay. Well, basically, I don't have bow thrusters at the front mm -hmm. of my boat, which are these things that shoot out air, I think, and they push the boat from the, the bow from side to side, so you can stay straight when you reverse. I don't have those, so you're going to be my bow thruster today, Katie. <laughs> okay. I'm going to sort it for you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope it doesn't rain today. Nice to meet you, Bath Thruster. <laughs> Not really, it's actually a fender. <laughs> Disgustingly dirty. So mm. The way this is gonna work is you're gonna be at the front of the uh, front of the boat. Mm-hmm. You can maybe stand on top of the gas locker. Okay. And you're just gonna be keeping the boat straight by pushing into the floor on either side. Now it is quite deep, so it's going to go quite far down. You're going to make, you're going to hit some silt at the bottom, and then you're just going to like sludge into it. But you do eventually get to the bottom, and that just that connection of the sludge will help as well with moving because it's only very slight. Um, and then if you can reach the side, then do. 
basically just try and keep the valve straight while I go backwards, please. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go on then, grab it. Mm. It's, it's, it's so gross. It's so gross, sorry. <laughs> I don't want to hit you. Okay, up here, yeah? Yeah. You feel okay up there? Does yeah. that feel like good as can be? Feel like a position you've you got? <laughs> I feel like I'm quite powerful to be honest. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> all right i'm gonna push out from the center and i'm gonna jump on and action <laughs> okay it will be, it'll be quite slow here a million times over the past couple of months it feels like but you know what it's such a great spot got my car right here fill up with wood can't get much better than that to sit back, relax, and enjoy the cruise. How are you feeling? I can't wait. <laughs> I'm so excited, honestly. <laughs> One of the things I just love about bringing people onto the boat is that I get to relive the first time ever cruising ever again, because it's like, you're excited, I'm excited, mm -hmm. it's all bloody brilliant, and it's also sunglasses day today. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. I can't get mine now. <laughs> <laughs> like a music video. <laughs> multiple glasses. Oh yeah baby, that's how we roll. <laughs> the no coat and sunglasses didn't last very long. <laughs> no. The beanie is back. Come back, yeah. come back. Sun, we love you. <laughs> Do a sun dance, whatever sun dance. Oh, I like your sun dance. <laughs>
<laughs> I have no idea what she's saying. She's saying something to me, but I have no idea. <laughs> she's just laughing at me, so that's nice. <laughs> Uh, it is so lush to be leaving, well, I say leaving, not, not leaving, but moving on. I've felt so freaking stagnant for the past six weeks, I think, we've been in this one area. And whilst I love it and I'm grateful because I get to be around community, I get to have my car parked in one place for a while, uh, I'm not far from work, not far from home not far from my yoga classes all that jazz so yeah feeling really blessed but there's just something about the moving thing that just talks to this deeper part of my soul and just says yes <laughs> absolutely yes so yes we are on the Zinub informed by a lovely fellow boater that the bridge that connects the river and the canal uh, the lock uh, bridge area um, is like super 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 tight so I need to take off my chimney need to take off my wheelbarrow anything that's sticking up needs to come down because I might lose it going under that bridge which I kind of knew I thought I was going to do that anyway but it's nice to have that confirmation nice to have people who share that kind of stuff with you so you know to protect yourself and your boat all looking out for each other hello <laughs> see water pouring out of the gates and I've seen water on the towpath and definitely it's risen since yesterday which kind of makes me feel a bit nervous <laughs> about doing this but I got Katie so it's fine I'll be fine better with help that's for sure Chimney's a bit hot because it's on, but it's just ah. And today we have baked a delicious, delicious flute flume. <laughs> I mean flute. Oh shit! You're moving away. I know. Come back. <laughs> Lots of practice, hun. There's the sneaky breeze. Snicker, snicker. This is uh, quite a funny one, this lock. You have to go over a main road. Yeah. Is anyone coming down? No, we're good. Oh, look at me, boat. So here's the lock, baby. I'd say, yeah, it, it's fine. Enough, enough meterage to get through. 
So do you feel like relatively confident you can do this? Heck to the yeah. Heck to the yeah, love it. Well, I'll give them my best go. Yeah, of course. So it's a lot easier to open a lock gate when the lock is, um, when the gates are open, when the sluices are open. It's like a pushing. Yep, that's lifting. All right, so I'm going to go through with the thingy mm -hmm. and then I'll give you some support for the next bit. Okay, bye. Bye. All this excitement's making me need a wee. <laughs> Gosh, I hope, I hope that aerial goes through. I might knock the aerial down a bit. <laughs> I am on the YouTubes. You're being captured for YouTube. Please do not swear. <laughs> I feel like one of those like weirdos that just watch and stare while everyone else does hard work. <laughs> Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Let's go. Run, rabbit, run. Run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run, run, run. Run as fast as you can, can, can. I don't know the rest of the words. Run, <laughs> run, run, run. Oh, can she do it? Too late? Too late, you have to jump on the back. Come with me, my friend. You just want to stand holding onto the edge. Ooh. So shift oh, yourself yeah. over onto the side, that's it. Just because otherwise you're getting away. <laughs> Don't like it, we have it, but I'll bang it. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Is this your land? Your house? Wow, lucky, lucky person. What a piece of space. Are you going to be building a mooring? Have you got a boat? I'll be a bit outside our price range. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, can I have it? <laughs> Help dig it out. <laughs> no, genuinely I'd be interested, but if you're getting a boat, then it's gone. I don't believe in that word, can't. <laughs> yeah, no. They're right there, so you, you know, you can't get away with it. <laughs> oh my god, look at this beautiful teal boat. Damn. Rob, if you're watching this, I like your boat. <laughs> it's higher boat season, and this corner is a real toughie. So, um, yeah, I think I'd rather not more on it.
You have arrived. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to pin. And what's pinning? Pinning. Pinning. <laughs> I haven't done pinning in a while. I have a flip of my pin. Scum. It's like your two little feet sticking out. <laughs> Wait. Pinning. So, one for sticking in the ground. Mm hmm. to the front because that is requiring my attention <laughs> this is behind this loop yeah so mooring the boat up like that just doesn't work the boat can swing out too much it's got all of this space to play with right which is why you have to moor your boat a little bit of a diagonal this side the tip with mooring with pins if you've got some kind of stone um, in front then it's great to put the pin right up next to the stone because often with pinning it can come out especially if the ground's really wet especially if someone come past, comes past too fast so this should prevent it from being pulled out which is why I have two pins in each pin it does a similar thing Second pin, crossing over, another tip. Um, I'm gonna take my own advice and move this one closer to the brick. See how easy that was to pull out? Mm. I want to ask you a question now, Katie. <sighs> Very serious face. What question? How was your first cruise? Um, it was really good fun. Yeah. And I can totally understand why people choose this lifestyle. It's incredible. Like, just even learning how to open the locks was amazing. Like, you see them around all the time, but to actually do it yourself and think of all the other people that have done that in the past. So, yeah, the other hand that have held that handle is just. I love that. Yeah, it's really made me appreciate it. And, like we were saying earlier, how you say that you want to have the freedom of moving around, but the groundedness of having your home, mm. it really is like, it does feel like the best of both worlds. Yeah, so. it does, isn't it? Mm. You're, you're more of a Vanna kind of girl, aren't you, really? Mm. So, um, you've got the whole road system whereas we're sort of bound to this canal system or these canal systems but they're just everywhere most most the of country. the country yeah. there are a few places you can't visit but well it's like the canals came before the roads right did they i believe so did they i mean was it? no it's canals came before the trains. i mean a road don't listen to me <laughs> check your facts <laughs> yeah take a fix <laughs> yeah i'm like in my mind i'm like horses roads yeah no yeah, yeah no, like, no, 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 no. about the canals although the, the horses used to pull the canals along tow paths like that's that was what they did that's why it's called a tow path no way yeah way yeah, that's so makes cool makes sense doesn't yeah. it horses would be pulling they would be the motor before mm. they put engines in them so can you take these boats on the rivers around the country yeah. you can take them on the rivers you have to have a special river license yeah. um which you can have a canal and river license or just a river or just a canal mm -hmm. um and yeah i mean you just don't want to go in winter when it's like ridiculous like it has been the past few weeks pretty dangerous it's a lot slower and calmer and obviously you're in nature mm. whereas when you're in a vehicle you're driving around it's fast it's rushed it's road rage there's people trying to get past you like it's a bit hectic there's nothing hectic about this unless it's something like you're going to come towards the side or you're doing the lock but that's mm. fun mm. as opposed to being stuck in traffic one thing to say though you have picked a, well we have picked a lovely day for you coming mm. to cruise 
um, it isn't always as pleasant. Some mm-hmm. days it's like wind. Some days you've got like water forces pushing you and you're yeah. stressed out. So that does happen. I tend to try not to move on those days because I'm on my own. Yeah. That's why I stick to these calm, lovely, br- beautiful days yeah. to move. Yeah, like me and me and my partner hired a boat on the Norfolk Broads last weekend and we had those conditions on the last day. It was windy, the bow thrusters broke, so they weren't working. The frustration of not being able to do what you want to with ease and it's such a battle and you can't just give up because you're on a boat in the water. If you give up, you're just, <laughs> you're going to crash. Like you have to keep going, you have to keep going. And then, but there is that reward when you finally do it. You're like, oh, okay, yeah, I could do that. But mm-hmm. your mind and everything, I definitely not, I nearly cried. Yeah. Yeah, so I have a lot of appreciation for you boat lifers because it's not easy. No, Mm-mm. no. Which is why I often call in reinforcements. Because <laughs> well, it's better to get I will be here anytime. Yeah! This has been so much fun, exactly what I needed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Another person to <laughs> add to the list. Help me out. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, cup of tea? Yeah, cup of tea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it sure feels good to be moving again. Thanks for joining me. Please don't forget to subscribe if you want more. A massive huge thank you to Katie for your help and to everyone who has supported the channel this week. I can't say it enough. Without you, this channel would not exist. From all of us to you, thank you. David, Richard, Kevin, Martin, Roland, Slogan6, Ray and Linda. You are all amazing. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.